Yeah. How I fell in love with you, it was beautiful. Like chicken and dough, how you feel me up? Being by myself is scary, but love is scarier. I'm just trying to make it in America. How I fell in love with you. My name is John Eric Concordia. I am here at the park's finest where we do American cuts of barbecue with a Filipino flavor. Located in downtown Los Angeles, historic Filipino town, Echo Park. I learned how to make Filipino food by taking what was prepared by my mom and walking that to my dad and taking what was ever finished by him and walking that back to mom. Having something that my father, my mother, my grandfather, and my grandmother were able to cook for us was just something that we understood was the meal of the day. So Filipino food is no different from breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We don't say, I love you. We don't say, how, you're, how, how are you doing? We don't say, I'm sorry. But we do say, have you eaten? Let's eat. The reason why Filipinos love to eat together is because we love spending time with each other. And if we can stretch a meal into a snack, into another meal, that means we've been able to enjoy and laugh and follow up and criticize and tease and laugh some more. That's what Filipino food allows us to do. Filipino food is already part of the conversation. Yet at the same time, it's happening amongst those that are not Filipino. So until Filipinos make it a point to enjoy other Filipino moms cooking and all of the logistics that take place in that, those that know, those that show, and those that care about our community will make it a point to keep this going. Hi, my name is Shem Gutierrez. I am Deborah Gutierrez. My name is Melissa Gutierrez. My name is Phil Gutierrez. I'm Dylan. Davila Gutierrez. Brendan Gutierrez. Connor Gutierrez. My favorite Filipino food is, of course, adobo. It is the national dish. I would say my favorite is probably lumpia. Um, it's the Filipino version of egg rolls. I probably could give you a list of the ones I don't like because there's too many to pick from. I think probably lumpia. It's just tasty. Not the healthiest for you, but it's really tasty. Roast caldo because I like like the ginger flavor. I'd say Jolly Bee Chicken is my favorite. That's fine. <laughs> it's because fried chicken is really good with rice, and it's it's better than like KFC. The Filipino chicken with like the gravy, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and for me, it probably would have to be a like, long anisa with rice. It's really good. I'm gonna change my answer to that. Filipino food reminds me of my family. It reminds me of my culture. It reminds me of our history and it always just brings back great memories of, of me growing up as a kid as well. Family. It's a way to get together, get together at the end of the day. Usually it wasn't lunch or breakfast. You always had dinner together though, so it was just a way to connect. Uh, yeah, basically it's all my different family members, you know, my grandparents, my uh, aunts and uncles, you know, just family gatherings and dinners and stuff like that. I mean, in particular, besides from family, it'd have to be grandparents especially. Filipino food in general just reminds me of having a uh, good time as well also being very messy with food. Reminds me of family time. That was definitely the time that we all got together um, to eat. So it reminds me of family. Home, just fun, family, yeah, for sure. Extended family, for sure. Family and just having fun together. Home, which is the Philippines, even though it's been a long time since I left the Philippines, but uh, no denying that you, that reminds you of home. Excuse me, this drink's delicious. But they ain't paying me, so we're not showing up. <laughs> What's up? My name is Guap. I am a rapper from Oakland, California. West Oakland, to be specific. And um, I'm in San Francisco right now. It's a beautiful day. Being a Filipino rapper is super tight because it's a bit rare. There's a lot of exclusivity because there's not a lot of us, you know. Everybody's super cool and we all in different lanes. Nobody does the same thing. There's obvious common areas where we could intersect, but it, it's a real spectrum. Music-wise, being Filipino has influenced me a lot. 
because I've always been around it. My grandma can sing. And career-wise, I, I move with a certain sense of family. So I take a lot from my Filipino upbringing is that sense of family. My favorite Filipino food, man, it, it's changing as, I get, as I've gotten older. Now, like, I can't stop eating corned beef. How do you think Filipino food brings families together to the table? I think it's based in the size of the dishes. Everything is shareable. When you think about other culture, it's not like some big pan of a thing. We frying fish, it's the whole fish. You know, who finna eat the whole fish by itself, man? Yeah, same thing, pancit, it's a big thing. Adobo, you not finna use a small amount of soy sauce and vinegar, you gonna put, you know, and cook big. It's always shareable, it's always shareable. Nobody's making six to eight Shanghai lumpias. <laughs> it's not, it's not happening. What does Filipino meal time in a Filipino family or a part Filipino family look like? I'm a weird person. I like to describe a lot of things in color. It's a real, it's like a, a really warm yellow. That's what it feels like to me. A really warm yellow, like a, like a cool marigold. That's what it feels like. That's what uh, I think of when I think of eating dinner with my Lola and the rest of the family. It's like that. It's, it's bright, it's warm. It's a lot of roasting, telling me not to have a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last question. In one word and in one word only, how does Filipino food make you feel when you eat it? Hugged. Amazing. Community. Hopeful. Home. Family. Happy. Hungry. Happy. Freedom. Happy. Warm. Complete. Self is scary, but love is scarier. I'm just trying to make it in America. How I fell in love with you, it was beautiful. Like chicken adobo, how you fill me up? Being by myself, but love is scarier. I'm just trying to make it in America. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it in America. How I fell in love with you. Scarier. I'm just trying to make it